Have you ever wondered how a mighty tree starts its journey? It all begins with a tiny seed, carefully nurtured and given the right foundation to grow strong and tall. Much like the seeds, the journey of education begins with small steps, each one carefully tended to ensure growth and strength. Welcome to Seacrest Country Day School, where every student's journey starts with a love for learning. In this video, we'll take a closer look at how math comes to life at Seacrest and the wonderful ways it shapes our students' experiences. The idea that there's a new math, it's a lot of conversation. But when you think about the actual mathematics classrooms or just math delivery in general, it is definitely the subject area that is the least new. You go into most secondary math classrooms around the globe and you'll feel transported back to the 90s, to the 70s, to the 50s. Truly, most math classrooms look and feel the same as they did at the inception of this thing called school. And yet, while many math classrooms today still echo those of half a century ago, at Seacrest, innovation thrives. Let's journey through our halls, from the upper school where advanced concepts take flight, to the middle school where mathematical curiosity is sparked, down to the seeds of mathematical wonder planted in our lower school classrooms. Where mathematical prowess takes center stage. Like skilled arborists, our educators sculpt minds, shaping them into formidable thinkers ready to tackle the complexities of the modern world. When students enter the upper school at Seacrest Country Day School, we begin to think about their beginning of their high school experience and what it looks like as they prepare for college. So when we think about the math curriculum in particular, we need to think about the competencies and the strengths that they have in mathematics, um, you know, from middle school and what they're ready to accomplish as a freshman. Math is a discipline in which students' foundation really prepares them for the next level. And it's arguably one of the disciplines that has the most prerequisites to enter more rigorous coursework. Once we know and have a strong understanding of their strengths in mathematics, then we can begin to think about what the four-year plan looks like. The conversation about a four-year plan in mathematics really has to think about what the ultimate outcome is. What is the terminal math course for each student? For some students, that could be college algebra if they're not a STEM-focused student. For other students, that could be AP Calculus BC or even a post-AP Calculus class. Um, it really depends on what the students' strengths are as they enter high school and how we get them there in terms of their outcomes and their focus for college. Like many other disciplines, there's a path for every student with regards to their math focus. So whether students are more intensely focused in math, in the science, technology, engineering, and math fields, or the STEM fields as we refer to them, um, some students are more humanities focused or more arts related, and that's okay, but we need to make sure that they understand the importance of a strong math foundation and any college program or career that they may be thinking about in the future. As our students advance through their educational voyage, the journey through mathematics continues to unfold. Now, let's journey down the path to the middle school, where the roots of mathematical understanding grow deeper and the branches of knowledge stretch even further. We break the institutional norms that are no longer effective, or maybe never effective. Like most educators, we know experimental learning is best. Learn by doing, right? But that doing cannot be purely mimicking. And for the most part, math curriculum is math curriculum. Whichever your school adopts, the concepts are, are, are pretty much the same. What differs is how it comes to life within each school. And we found a way in the middle school to bring math and actual thinking alive at Seacrest. It's called Building Thinking Classrooms. It was developed by a group of math educators that included over 400 K-12 math teachers working over 15 years tinkering with the framework within their classrooms. Here's the basic premise. When it's time to learn something new, the students are grouped into random groups of three. We teachers 
Start with engaging non-curricular thinking tasks to build a culture of thinking, perseverance, and collaboration. Then students transition to curricular tasks. The goal is to get more students thinking for longer periods within the context of the curriculum. The crux of the philosophy is self-discovery. Students are presented with progressively harder problems to solve without the teacher spoon feeding them how to solve them. The role of the teacher is to circulate amongst the groups and facilitate learning. This means not answering every question students have, and this is the hardest part for teachers, but it is key and we often do not answer most of the questions. Many student questions are posed to get out of real thinking. Selected student work is left on the boards so that the students and teachers can go on a walking gallery at the end of the lesson to consolidate what they've just discovered, starting from the bottom up. Students then return to their seats and make notes. That phrasing is critical. They make notes, not take my notes. They're instructed, what do you need to put down now that will help you remember what you just as a group discovered and learned so that you can individually do it in the future. The structure is implemented into the classroom about 50% of the time. It allows us to cover more curriculum in an experimental way, students out of their seats, collaborating, working together, figuring out math concepts on their own. It is hugely enjoyable and successful for all parties. As we descend further into the rich soil of learning, we arrive at the lower school, where the seeds of mathematical curiosity are sown and nurtured with care. Join us as we explore the foundational beginnings of mathematical discovery and delight. Lower School Mathematics encourages a growth mindset in problem solving. Math is in counting, in patterns, and in real life situations. It is not just inside classrooms, it is outside in gardens, on walkways, on the playground, in Spanish class, in song, and in play. Our lower school students are growing their mathematical minds. Part of that growth comes from safe learning spaces to reason and to productively struggle through challenging problems. Learners have discussions, feel safe to make mistakes, receive specific feedback, learn from those mistakes, and ultimately take ownership of thinking and the educational process. This process happens through the cultivation of foundational skills, vocabulary, number sense, focus, and our core value of perseverance. Math is everywhere and our students know it. Our students are becoming analytical mathematical thinkers with toolboxes equipped with strategies to solve new and complex problems with a problem solver's mindset. Lower school students know that all people can be math people. At Seacrest Country Day School, we believe in nurturing a love for learning math, just like a gardener cultivates a magnificent tree. We start by showcasing the possibilities, the awe-inspiring applications of math in the upper school, much like the towering potential of a full-grown tree. But remember, even the tallest tree starts as a tiny seed, a foundation of strong roots and essential building blocks. That's why at Seacrest, we place equal importance on building a strong foundation in our lower and middle schools. Through playful exploration, problem solving, and real-world applications, we plant the seeds of mathematical understanding and confidence. Just as the seed transforms into a mighty tree, our students blossom into analytical thinkers and confident math problem solvers, prepared to thrive in any field they choose.